today we're going to be looking at how to install Questcraft or Minecraft on your Oculus Quest 2 and or 3. Now I have a, both Quest 2 and 3, but my Quest 3 already has everything installed, so I'll actually be installing it today on this Quest 2 that I have that is fairly, fairly blank actually. Now I do want to mention before we start, you do actually need to own the Minecraft Java edition for us to be able to play this. Essentially it's so we're not actually facilitating any piracy, and the only way you actually get the game to launch is if you own it. Now I don't believe this is 100% necessary, we're going to go ahead and open our settings, go to system settings, go to developer, and we're just going to enable custom settings. Next up we're going to need to open the app on the phone for your request. Just going to go to menu, devices, click on your headset that you're going to be using, then click on headset settings towards the bottom, then click on developer mode, and if you have a developer account you should just turn that on. Otherwise, we are going to need to make a developer account with Meta, so that will be the next step here. Now, assuming you don't already have a developer account, we're just going to type into Google Meta Create Organization, and it should be the first link that we're going to click on, creating an organization and manage users. After that, there should be a link for the developer dashboard. Just go ahead and click on that. After that, we'll ask you to log in. Maybe you want to log in with either your email or Facebook or, you know, however you made your account. Then it'll also ask you to log in with your Meta account, so if you do have something separate, just go ahead and log into there as well. Now it should bring you to the developer dashboard. It's going to ask you to verify your information. In this case, we're just going to set up text message authentication or two-factor authentication. So I don't want to add a credit card to my account that I'm using for this headset. It's going to bring up the password and security area. Click on two-factor authentication. Just go ahead and re-enter your password. Then have a text message sent to your phone, or you can also just add a authentication app as well. Go ahead and enter the phone number you plan on using. Then go ahead and enter the code that it gives you. As soon as two-factor authentication is on, we should be all good to go. Now we open the app on your phone. Go back to the developer mode. It'll update. Turn on developer mode. Then now we should be done with our phones. Next up, we need to go back over to our computer. Just open your browser, type in SideQuest, and download. And it should be the first link, so go ahead and click on there. It'll then load up SideQuest's website. And once we're on there, we're going to go to Get SideQuest, and go to Advanced Installer on the right, and just download a copy of it to our computer. Afterwards, we're of course going to install onto our computer, so that way we can then also just install onto our Quest to make things easier in the future. Then just go ahead and follow the prompts, so that way we can go ahead and have it properly installed. Then once SideQuest is installed, you could either hit the Run SideQuest button after it's done installing, or go ahead and hit your Windows key, type in SideQuest, enter, and wait for the app to open. Once the app is open, it is going to do a little bit of uh, extra downloading and installing, so just go ahead and wait for that to finish, and then we can proceed on to the next step, where we're going to be plugging in our Quest to our computer to properly install SideQuest onto the headset itself. Now if it does take more than a few minutes, I would say just go ahead and close SideQuest and reopen it, because it sometimes gets stuck on the downloading page. Now I'll go ahead and plug in your Quest into the computer that you were planning on using. After the headset is plugged in, put it on, Check for any messages like the allow USB debug debugging, allow them or accept them, and then we can move on to the next step. Next we're going to go ahead and hit the search icon, then we're going to go ahead and search for SideQuest. It should be the first link, being SideQuest VR. Click on there, hit the side little now button, and it's going to give you an option to either choose a country for residence in your birthday or you sign up. I would advise signing up now. Otherwise, you're going to have to sign up later in the headset. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and choose my country residence and birthday to get the app installed at the, at the very least. And now once it does start installing, it is going to take a few minutes. So let it go ahead and do its thing. Just wait until it's done downloading and installing. Then we can go on to the next step. This next step, we're going to have to get back into our headset. Let's go to your library. Go to the top right where it says All, click Unknown Sources, then click on SideQuest, and once you do, it'll give you a link and a code. 
then we're going to head back over to our computer, type in the link, and sign up for an account using that code as well. Once again, that link is going to be stq.st slash link. Go ahead and follow the sign up process. Once you do, put your headset back on, get the code from your headset, enter it, click the link now button, go to my account, and then you should be all good to go with your account. Next, once you're back in our headset, it should automatically update, asking you to allow permissions. Let's go to allow. Then you can either search for Questcraft, or in my case, it was the top left option. So go ahead and click on it. And hit accept all for privacy or decline, whatever you prefer for the cookies. Hit the sad little now button. Then let us sit for a moment while Questcraft installs onto your headset. It's going to ask you for more smart permissions. Just go ahead and hit settings. Hit allow from the source. Hit install. Then once it's done, you might need to hit the back arrow at the top left. Or right, the one right under the one at the very top left. That should bring you back into the side quest menu. But now when you go back to your library, you should see Questcraft in the menu. And go ahead and click on Questcraft. Once Questcraft loads, we're going to go ahead to the sign in button in Minecraft. We're going to have to log into our Microsoft account using that link. The HTTPS Microsoft or www.microsoft.com slash link. And enter the code it gives you. Unfortunately, again, this will have to be done on your computer or phone. Just go ahead and log into the website that I gave you earlier inside the headset, the Microsoft.com slash link website, and enter the code that it gives you. And once you do that, you might need to also re enter your password as well. But once all that is done, you should be able to go back into your headset and it'll have you all signed into Minecraft or Questcraft. Now I didn't get the first part of this, but once you do hit the play button, It'll start installing whichever version of Minecraft you have selected towards the bottom left. Then once you're done downloading it, you can construct any worlds that you want. And now Questcraft is completely installed. And, uh, you know, you can also install other games or apps through the side quest launcher as well. If that tutorial was at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any feedback on how the tutorial actually was, make sure to comment down below.